Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about extremism. I hear people ask the question sometimes on the internet, what is extremism? And I don't necessarily see a consensus as to an answer. And sometimes the way I hear people talk about extremism, I feel like they haven't quite pinned it down. I've come to a particular way of thinking about extremism that I think is a little bit different from the mainstream view. So first I want to voice the viewpoint that I often hear people voicing that I don't agree with. I hear people talk about extremism as if it is whenever a viewpoint becomes sufficiently far from the mainstream view. And that's not how I see things. I think that extremism is more a characteristic of how an ideology or a viewpoint plays out, like the patterns of thinking, patterns of communication, and patterns of acting it out. I think it's more a function of that than about what you actually are believing, what the ideas themselves are. And I think that there can be ideas that are very mainstream and even are considered pretty moderate or normal that play out in extremist ways. If I were going to characterize extremism, I would point to one thing in particular that I think characterizes it, which is all or nothing thinking. I think that if you have a group or an ideology that includes this idea of you're either with us or you're against us, that that is one of the defining aspects of extremism, the way I see it. This often plays out in ways like if someone disagrees with one aspect of the group's ideology, they will then be viewed as a political opponent, and they will be attacked, and condemned, and criticized, and such, often like shunned or pushed out of the group. You can see this in religion. You see certain groups that insist that in order to be a real member of the religion that you have to agree with every aspect of the doctrine or dogma, and if you agree with uh, if you disagree with even one little part, then you're not a real member of that religion. And I don't like that. That's not how I view or practice religion. You also see it in politics. For example, in the Republican Party, which is pretty mainstream, it makes up a significant portion of America, in the Republican Party there's this idea of a rhino, R-I-N-O, Republican in name only, and people hurl that label on people when they disagree with certain key stances within the Republican Party. They might agree with a lot of the stances, but there's this idea that if you d disagree with certain things, then you're not a real Republican. I find this way of thinking pretty damaging. Now, maybe I've given examples that are sort of outside examples for you, but I want to really challenge you. I bet there are some things, some ideas or beliefs that are close to what you believe that can play out in extremist ways. And I want to give an example that I think can go both ways with the extremism, and that is the abortion debate. Like, I hear people talk about uh, pro-life people in a lot of very negative terms. Like, they'll say like, oh, these people are just trying to control women's bodies, and things like that. They're like attributing negative intentions to their actions and their behavior. And I think that's another characteristic of extremism. Like, if you look at rhetoric that would be typically called extremism, it often involves a narrative where you attribute negative intentions to the other party. Uh, I also see this play out in some feminist circles. Like, I agree with most of the tenets of most forms of feminism, but I've been in some groups where I've seen people, sometimes I've even been this person, so I can say I have disagreed with a certain point here or there, and I've had people really pounce on me. They're like, oh, you're just derailing the discussion. Uh, often what I was voicing is the idea that, well, I want to get through more to people who are voicing misogynist views, and I want to view them with more respect, because I ultimately want to influence them. I've been attacked quite viciously for voicing that view, because I was seen as sort of supporting the misogynists in that case. There's that label that is thrown onto those people. Um, I think that's an example of extremism. I think extremism exists within feminism, it exists within both pro-life and pro-choice movements. 
Like I've heard people in the pro-choice movement say things like, oh, you can't possibly be an advocate for women's rights if you don't support abortion rights. There's this idea, here it is again, if you disagree with this one thing, then you're, you're thrown out entirely. And I really dis dislike that. I like the idea of including people who may disagree with certain things that you think are really important. And I think if we're really gonna root out extremism for it, from our society, we need to start examining our own views, our own ideologies, and the groups that we identify with and that we like, um, and start rooting the extremism out from those groups first. Um, I hope I've challenged some ideas, and I hope that you can come to think about extremism in a similar way. I'd love to hear from you whether or not you agree with me. Uh, please share a comment. Uh, I love hearing support, and I love hearing critiques as well. Uh, if you have anything to add, and if you like what I have to say, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate each and every subscriber. Thank you.